which Philip might be, will be the collateral uh, victims of this. Because the governor is not going to run again. But Philip is, wants to run. And the forces within the state are against his running. That is a statement of fact. And those state is, has three senatorial districts. The immediate past governor, Aliu Adam Soshomole, is from Iyamo in Esako West, local government area of Edo State. Philip Shaibu is from Iyamo in the Esako West local government. In Edo State today, the governor is from Edo South, which constitutes close to 60% of the population of the state, and more than 70% of its landmass. Edo South, Edo Central, however, mm. have never been governor. You know, you know, they've been governor for a year and six months under Osari Emeo Sumbo, but they've and never been... They, 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 and Ambruzali. Yeah. Yeah. You get my boss? Uh, governor Obaseki. And I want you to be fair. I, be fair. I know Obaseki is your cousin. Yes. <laughs> so you are an interested party in the matter. Okay. But the two of them seem to have been having a good relationship. Yeah. Governor, deputy governor. Yes. And now all of a sudden... People are saying, oh, Shaibu wants to be governor. He wants to succeed his boss. And Obaseki does not want him to also become governor. And now Wala has started. But what exactly is the matter? Um, you see, particularly, both of them, I, I personally felt, you know, particularly just before the last elections, that maybe the governor had ceded quite a lot, magnanimously, to Philip, because both of them were almost like CMS twins in terms of their political uh, uh, engagement and relationship. But I think what has come is this. You see, we cannot remove the politics from the location, from the locale. In Edo State, I think all of us, a lot of us, that includes me as a person, I, I am a little uncomfortable that Philip wants to run for governor. Because although, although we are seemingly homogeneous, Philip is from the same village with Oshomole. It's like Pedro now, I wanted to be governor once upon a time. Now my elder brother is now governor, and he leaves office, and I want to be governor. I think that was where the whole thing might have started. But on ground, with all the things in Medo State in Benin right now, the real distancing started with the Constitution of the present House of Assembly, just uh, after the, 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 that was June, June, 2020, June 2023. And at that, everybody in the state who knows what is going down knew that the deputy governor wanted to install a speaker who happened to have been not the one that the others, including the governor and the party structure wanted. And if you stress the history of the relationship of Godwin and Philip as against the backdrop of the problems the PDP has been having. Many people felt that Philip might have been maybe the finger on the trigger that caused the entire problem that those states are having with the PDP. Yes. So if okay. there is the need for us, if there's going to be equity and fairness, yeah. um, I don't think Philip... Okay should be running okay. but but is but, but ambition is a personal thing yeah you know okay anyway if you want to stretch the argument yes a lot of people will say the argument falls flat because mm -hmm. we have had a country that hitherto used to have a muslim christian balancing but now has a muslim muslim ticket yes and it's all true so some people will say oh is it true Barring the court encumbrances, oh, okay. they, want, they, okay. they are barring the court encumbrances as we speak today. Who, yeah. the president of Nigeria, is, yeah, is not a Muslim? You, I agree with you. The vice president is not a Muslim. Yeah, I agree with you. Uh -huh. So it's some people will say is how strong mm -hmm. the ambition is mm -hmm. of the individual and how how well it will be received yes. by those who are going to cast their ballot. Uh, to, uh, yes, yes. So that's the balancing act. But I want to ask you an honest question. Yes. When Philip decided to fight his own brother, elder brother of Shomale, mm -hmm. for your own brother, mm -hmm. what did your brother promise him in return? Was it just to be a deputy governor for two terms 
and afterwards walk away and go face his political life? Okay, I want to also answer you by answering you with the question you asked. Don't asking. be a Nigerian. No, That's no, 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 quickly. No, no, there's no. a second question. Yes. So, number two question. Mm -hmm. Is it in uh, Governor Baseke's right mm -hmm. to dictate to the Edo people who should be governor? Let the, should he not allow the Edo people to choose who they want to vote for? Irrespective of uh, political calculations, he cannot dictate that. Mm -hmm. okay. he, that would be presumptuous. Yes, I, it's okay. not in his place to do that. Okay, number one, you I see, will answer. You see, um, that, that's Don Pedro Obaseki. Uh, Don Pedro and Obaseki, they are causes. You see, Don Pedro Obaseki is somebody who believe, you know, he believe in a do Bini project, you know. Like Bini first, Bini people first. He's a good guy, you know. But everything that he is saying here, not all are true. So there's no need for somebody to be praising, hey, intelligent. I mean, I'm not seeing anything intelligent. It's just, what he's saying is maybe 60% true or 70% true. What he's saying here is about. Uh, blame Fili Shaibu. Fili Shaibu is the devil. His brother is the saint. That's what he's saying. You see, he said he's one of those who don't want Fili Shaibu to contest, to run for this governorship election that is coming. And uh, the way he put it, Fili Shaibu is a greedy man because the former governor, uh, Adam Sosomule and Fushaibu is from the same village. You can, you know, him running a game is, is, is not good. It's unacceptable to him. That that's the reason why he mentioned, he's trying to like where Philip Shaibu is coming from. And he talked about, and the governor is a Bini man and the uh, population. Bene is almost 60-63%. The state, the population of the state, 63%. Land map, we are almost 70%. You understand me? Why is he saying that? It's to tell you, you know, majority always carry the day. This is what I, I keep telling our people. It's not a bad thing. It's just that the majority decide. That is what this man is trying to let the world know. Felicia Ebu is from the north, from a particular place, from the do not, not, not Nigeria. I'm talking about I do not. So you shouldn't be arguing or try to decide or challenging the governor who is for, who is a Bini man. And the Bini, in terms of population, 63% of the population of the state. And when land map, that's the reason why he was saying that. That's the only reason why he was saying that. And uh, again, he said he believed in equity, justice. If uh, Abu, if the former governor is from uh, Yamo, from the same village with Felicia Abu, so Felicia Abu don't, can come back now and be saying he wants to contest because he believes in equity. And that is where he tried to, like, if you are from the Do Center, Isama, you like to hear that, you know, now that really. They said, oh, power must, uh, the ESA must produce the next governor because of, uh, you know, Edo is divided into three senatorial districts. You know, uh, people from Edo South, Central, me to say. So he's talking about uh, equity. But this man that is talking about equity, did he believe in equity when the, he and his brother were supporting Atiku? Answer Full Anima was the president. Uh, he's leaving office, another Full Anima. Atiku is coming. You all can pay for Atiku. You didn't know that there is equity. Other people from other regions are supposed to at least rule. The country is not for full and easy alone. But you supported Atiku. You can pay for Atiku. You and your brother, uh, Governor Obaseki. You didn't know. You didn't talk about equity then. Now you remember there is equity now. It doesn't work that way. Fresh Aibu, it is all right. Like, just like... Uh, this man said, Obaseki cannot choose a, a do state governor. He can't impose anybody on a do state people. 
Can only do that in between APC, I mean, is PDP there. I don't, I don't people will decide who will govern them. And this one send message. This also send message to these Arisan central people. You're, you don't have the population. That's your problem. You run, some of you run your mouth on social media, threatening brimstone. You don't give your brother. Look, this governorship election is coming. They might not even give you some money to get. They might, because politicians look, for, you know, they look for people who have that integrity and who can bring votes. It's about winning. Him that is talking like the equity, you have to equity, did you think he mean it? He did not mean it. That's the reason why the governor look confused now today. I want to pick somebody from Edo Central. Tomorrow, no, I want to pick a Bini man. They look confused. They look confused. If you watch a Oshomole's video, Oshomole was talking about this same equity. You know, I believe in equity. If the Oshomole video about a week, over a week ago, he was talking about like, you understand me, we share powers. They are deceiving themselves. The moment, if Obaseki should pick from a man now, Oshomole, APC, they will look, they will do whatever they can and pick a Benin man. And that, and the Benin, and you know what I mean, it will be very difficult for Obaseki, for PDP to win. The same thing, Obaseki, PDP is waiting for them to pick whoever they want to pick. If they pick, if they pick a Sama, for instance, or they pick a Oshiman, PDP will not pick, uh, PDP will also pick a Benima because Benima holds the vote. That's, you know what I'm talking about. All those, like Edo Central. The vote coming from a, Edo State register almost seven, uh, 800 to 1 million votes. You know, active vote about 700 or something. You understand me? Whenever there is election, but the vote coming from Edo Central is not encouraging. Sometimes it will be 90, 100,000. Coming from a do central, that is what that is what we keep telling our people here. They will be making noise on social media, uh, talking, behaving like Igbo. One of his and guy and one Igbo friend, they came to me and be asking me, "Oh, they are marginalizing this." I say, "How are they marginalizing you? How they are not marginalizing you? The the state government is not holding some people any you know what due to them." How? If you want to be governor, go out there, go and do whatever you can be governor. Nobody give anybody. You, you, people can make you governor. They will elect you. Do whatever you can so that your party will give you a ticket. If you have the capacity, if people feel, oh, they will vote for you. Edo, we don't discriminate. But bringing, but hiding between the Igbo, political Igbos are zero. Go to Anabra. Go and ask them, is it not Igbo that people, the other tribe that who don't speak Igbo, they don't understand Igbo in Anabra they, Ask them if any of these people, they are up to a, a, a 500, 600,000 there, their population. People from uh, Benue, I don't, this Benue tribe, they are in Anabra there. Ask them if they have ruled that, con if, I mean, ruled that state. Or anyone from that tribe is in a Toludo cabinet. Is it a Boeing state? Ask them if they have other tribe there. So don't, if you follow the Igbo, they will mislead you. These people are a bunch of confused people. If you listen to them, they will mislead you. And no Isama can threaten anybody. He all those noise. You be, it's most of the people on social media. They might not give his son man, this, this ticket. They might, they might not. Because all these politicians are saying, I don't trust them. I don't trust them. Let them give the ticket to whoever they want to give the ticket to first. But for somebody to sit in his palo and be running his mouth, not it. That's what they were saying. Yeah, Ibu man must rule. He must be president. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What happened at last? Even when they declared Tinubu the winner, you know, the day of the swearing in, people like uh, Magnus, they were all telling people to come and give them money. Fun. Give me money now to travel to Abuja and to pay him for my hotel. We, we was drinking alcohol. We will not, we will not, they will not swear in him. When men fall out, them aside of Kupo and the including the tobacco of them. Okay, let's see if you are going to if how you are going to stop it. The uh, uh, Magnus used that to collect money. They did go to Abuja that day. So all those noise is just noise. I tell you the truth. Thank you and God bless.